Welcome to this short video introducing a new standard in the Environmental Management Systems family, EN ISO 14006-2011. The video will give you a brief overview of what the standard is, why it was written, and how to learn more about implementing it through a series of webinars and one-day workshops organized by the Institute of Environmental Management and Assessment and run by the Center for Sustainable Design. The new standard was published on the 8th of July 2011 as a British standard BSEN ISO 14006-2011. Importantly, it is a guidance standard and cannot be certified in its own right. It will help organizations to establish a systematic and structured approach to the incorporation and implementation of an eco-design process within an environmental management system, primarily but not exclusively conforming to ISO 14001. Before we go further, it will be useful to explain what eco-design is and why it is becoming increasingly important to carry it out. Eco-design, or as it is sometimes called, design for the environment, is the systematic identification of environmental aspects in each of a product's life cycle phases that lead to adverse environmental impacts and the adoption of appropriate design measures to reduce and improve these impacts. So why should we do eco-design? Products have significant life cycle environmental impacts and eco-design will reduce these and help to preserve the environment. Also, products are increasingly covered by legislation that requires improvement of their environmental performance. For example, the Energy Related Products Directive, the We and Ross Directives and the REACH Regulation. Eco-design can also be beneficial to the organization, leading to increased competitiveness, cost reduction, promotion of innovation and creativity, identification of new business models, and improved public image. To be successful and realize these benefits, however, eco-design must be integrated into the strategic planning and operational management of the organization. So why is a new standard needed? Firstly, because the degree to which environmental impacts of products are addressed and implemented environmental management systems varies widely. Experience has shown that many EMSs tend to stay site-focused, or organizations only consider product impacts in the manufacturing stage, thus neglecting to take a full life cycle perspective, which is the cornerstone of eco-design. Secondly, because ISO 14001 and other eco-design related standards do not address all the necessary processes and activities required for eco-design. The clauses of ISO 14001 that are pertinent to eco-design provide no specific guidance on how to satisfy the requirements of the standard in regard to products. Other related standards are no better in this regard. However, ISO 14006 addresses this issue. The inability of ISO 14001 and other related eco-design standards to address all the requirements for successful eco-design is shown on this slide. Here we see how the three knowledge or expertise domains of environment, design and management that are required for successful eco-design within an EMS are addressed to various extents in each of the interrelated standards, but no one standard combines all three. 
Outside the triangle, there is a sharing of at least two knowledge domains between different standards, but we cannot link all three. For example, ISO 14001 links environmental aspects with business management, but does not address design. ISO 9001 links design with management, but does not address environmental issues. And IEC 6430 and ISO 14062 address environmental issues within a design process context, but do not link to management systems. ISO 14006 sits between the domains, drawing information from and linking all three. It puts together the necessary information from these other standards within the ISO 14001 structure, so that the users and managers of an EMS can identify the appropriate processes and procedures for implementing structured and managed eco-design. So who will need to understand and use this standard? It is intended primarily for managers and personnel involved with environmental management systems based on ISO 14001 or EMAS and or quality management systems based on ISO 9001 who are faced with the task of incorporating eco-design of products and services within their management systems. However, it is not sufficient just to train EMS and QMS personnel for successful eco-design. Designers and engineers tasked with carrying out the eco-design process will benefit from understanding this standard, as will personnel and managers in the other operational arms of the organisation, in particular marketing and purchasing. To help in the understanding and implementation of this standard, and to encourage eco-design, the Centre for Sustainable Design and the Institute of Environmental Management and Assessment are planning a series of webinars and workshops. These will be run by Martin Charter and Vic Clements from the Centre, who were convener and UK expert respectively on the ISO working group that wrote ISO 14006. The first webinar is planned for the 30th of November 2011 and a workshop will be held at the Centre for Sustainable Design on the 6th of December 2011. Further workshops approved for CPD points will be running in early 2012. Further details on these webinars and workshops are available from the Centre for Sustainable Design or the Institute at the websites shown. Thank you for watching. Thank you.